Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Eastern and Ninja here today, uh, my dudes, with a brand new episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond playthrough here on the Eastern and Ninja channel. And today, my dudes, I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna get up to. We're gonna see how far we get. But we're gonna start with a quick team recap. That's right, we picked her twig last episode. If you guys missed it, you guys check that out right here. Link in an i card. Link in the description as well as the playlist of the series. And I, I also gonna just quickly shout this out. I made a short for this series out of episode one and i think there might be enough content in episode two to make another short different short um or enough, enough content in episode one to make another short i think i said that right did i say episode two i don't know i don't know i truly and honestly have no idea what i'm talking about like 90 percent of the time so it's probably fine it's probably nothing we're gonna head on out though get into our first wild battle i'm excited this game looks so nice i dig it I'm into it. I am. Um, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit saddened by simply the fact that I. Well, I was really hoping. I mean, I'm gonna. We're getting into the meat and potatoes, deep conversation, right? Right off the rip. I know we're not even. Not even two minutes in, but I am a little bit saddened by the fact that we ended up with a Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remake 15 years after the games came out. And graphically, they look better, but graphically, they look better, but so still so similar. And I know some people really like that, but I was really looking forward to like sword and shield graphics, maybe upgraded a little bit, you know, like fixing pop in issues and stuff like that. Right. But diamond and pearl, I would have loved that. I would have loved to see these routes reimagined as, as 3D explorable routes. I mean, it's already nice that we have like infinite directions which is a huge thing you know it's not not as tile based which is awesome you know 360 365 degrees of direction which is awesome but i don't know like i expected more but at the same time i like it like i, I enjoy it's familiar you know i don't know it's hard to it's hard to it's hard to describe oh you are here please come with me the professor is waiting yes ma'am <clears throat> I'm, I'm following you this is it our pokemon research lab let's go Yes! Thud me! <laughs> oh, 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 what the? Oh, oh, but you, Ace. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Ah! It doesn't matter, Ace. I'm out of here. See you later. Catch you later, man. Wow. What was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. He's, um... Something, for sure. Well, anyway, let's go inside. All right, after you, let's head on in. Don't, don't mind if I do. <laughs> I want to meet the professor. <clears throat> Finally. <clears throat> Finally, you've come. Ace, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm. I see, this Pokemon seems rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give you that Turtwig as a gift. Now there's yours. Would you like to nickname it? Would you like to nickname it? Yes, please. Thank you. Also. Um, we're gonna nickname We don't have a nickname scheme. Oh, it tells you if it's a boy or a girl. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. I forget the developer that actually made this game. I know it wasn't... Nintendo, it was with the help of Game Freak, but it wasn't in-house. Who was it? Who was it? It was the same people that made Link's Awakening Remake. I could be wrong about that, but I remember hearing that. I could be wrong about that, but I do remember hearing that. Um, anyway, that's a really nice touch. That's a really nice touch that it tells you. Anyway, when nicknames, think. Think. Nicknames for... I don't want to do anything boring like, you know, leaf or whatever. Um, nickname for nickname for a turtwig. Come on, come on. Think you're better than this, Greg. I guess let's do it. Why not? Heck, you guys. I need you guys to leave me nickname suggestions. I don't, I don't want nick. Don't don't leave suggestions for a particular Pokemon, but leave nickname suggestions in the comment section so I can kind of have stuff to work off of that'd be fantastic because you're all smarter than me <clears throat> okay i see 
And you're happy with that nickname? Sure. Yeah. Your friend that first told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Turtwig. Oh, I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... <laughs> kick your butt. Uh oh, I just can't say it. <laughs> Oops, are you kidding? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it's necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. Huh, <laughs> yes, good answer. If you didn't answer yes, I wouldn't have let you leave this lab, so good answer. <laughs> You'd have died here. Anyway. <laughs> That Pokedex is very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Ace, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too! Yep, yeah, man. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I, I really want- I want that interaction in the next- in the next Pokemon game. That your- your friend is like, oh, I got one too! It's just like, who asked? <laughs> You know, like, what? <laughs> when you walked up on Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. So he's... He was 60 in the first game, so he's what? 75 now? Not bad. Long life. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now... You should know <clears throat> that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Ace, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Piplup. If I would have chosen, if you would have chosen Piplup at the lake, we'd have had the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm Dawn. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Ace. So now we gotta go follow her, right? For more tutorial, I think. She'll, she's gonna learn us the ropes. Okay, Ace, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red roof is Pokemon Center. This is the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center. I pressed A too quickly. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> the building with the red roof is over here at the Pokemon. This is a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Ace, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of items. Or many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. I can read, I promise. Oh, that's right, Ace. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It will be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. I don't think I've actually had a battle since getting healed last, but... Actually, no, I did battle a Starly. So I guess we'll go, we'll pop in here real quick. I don't know how I feel about the graphics. The more I look at it, the more I like it, and the more I don't like it. Is it just me or does it look hazy to anybody else? It, it genuinely might just be me and because I'm looking at it through a graphics card and through my OBS software, it might just look hazy to me. Maybe it doesn't look like this to other people, but like, is the game hazy or am I crazy? I need to know. But I'm, I'm, I don't want to boot this up outside of the context of recording. Because if I do that, I'm going to play it and then I'm going to lose motivation to record it. And I really want to finish this series because I never did finish Sword and Shield. I played about two badges into Shield. Nobody watched the series, so I dropped it. 
that was um that was a less than stellar time for my Pokemon YouTube career. It is what it is. We're back now. We're here. We're on the grind. <clears throat> Welcome home. Ace, are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear mom. I just healed. I just healed. What's up, Ace? Wow, but first, her, Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. Ace, I've got something that you'll find useful. A guidebook. Thanks, Mom. That'll, I'm going to use that all of never. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions during your adventure. You'll find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. <laughs> I'm just joking. I couldn't battle. You know, I, I would be a terrible partner Pokemon. Because I'm your mom. That'd be weird. <laughs> what am I on about? <laughs> I'll be alright by myself, dear. You go on and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new situ sensations, it makes your mother happy, too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see what kinds of Pokemon you've caught. Yep, I'll be doing just that for sure. <clears throat> I don't do a different mom voice. Eh, excuse me, uh, my little thirty first year. Uh, no, he's he's not. Oh, uh, no. I mean it's kind of fitting because I think thirty first. I mean. Barry's mamas should be annoying too, I think, right? Probably? Maybe? Oh! Uh, then we must have left already. What to do? Uh, that boy shouted something about going on an adventure then bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Uh, not to worry. Ace will deliver that to him. Won't you, Ace? Sure, Mom. Oh, really? Uh, you do that for me? Ace, please take this at 31st for me. Yep, no problem. I'll take that parcel. Bye bye, Ace. Enjoy your adventure. Uh, let me think. Knowing my boy, he's probably headed straight for Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to my 31st. Yep. I got you. I'm on it. Oh, Ace. You forgot something important. A hat. Very important. Yes, that hat always did suit you well, Ace. Now, off you go. All right, we're on it. We're on our adventure. Can I actually? I want to know. Oh, Pokedex. Hold on. Turtwig. That's it. Duh. Trainer card. How do you customize, or do you customize outside? I don't. You probably have to be at somewhere, right? Yeah, you probably have to be at somewhere. That's my guess. I'm, maybe they added boutiques in the, to the game, because I know you can customize. I've seen screenshots, spoiler alert by the way, if you don't know, somehow. Uh, you can customize, I just don't know how. Is there people to, I don't I don't actually remember who gives items in this game, it's been a minute since I played it, so I'm just gonna talk to people. Uh, who are you, you're Ace? Oh, you're doing the Pokedex name for the professor, yep, yep, that's me. I'm not gonna read them all by the way, I'm just gonna talk to people and see if anybody wants to give me anything, cause items are helpful. And I don't, for the life of me, remember who gives me what. So, while we're, while we're doing this, while we're talking to people, I want to talk to you guys about something that I have an idea for. It's nothing channel related, sadly. Um, but, I have an idea. I want to try it since my hair is short right now. and Because I, I got a cut recently, right? Um, oh, there is an item down here. An antidote. Nice and free. Beautiful. Uh, okay, so I want I've been wanting for a while and I think I've talked about this before But I've been wanting for a while to Try and get my hair dyed And I'm thinking now it's kind of the perfect style like this is this is the style that I would want if I got it dyed So my question to you guys is a Should I do it in your professional opinions? Is it worth it? And B no, I don't want 14. I want five because she's about to give me six, so I'll give us plenty. And let's buy up some potions. That's probably plenty. We'll buy a few antidotes, even though I don't think we're going to have to use them. 
We'll buy a few paralyzed heals because Shinx is around. Although I don't think they're going to paralyze us at all. But that way we're stacked. We're ready to go just in case things get a little hairy somehow. Anyway, should I do it? In your professional opinion, should I diet? And if you think yes, follow up question. And I'd like to discuss this in further details. If you guys want, you could join the Discord. It's linked down below in the description. You guys can join Discord if you want to talk about this more with me. Should I make it like a like a channel goal? Like if we can get to blank number of subscribers by blank time, I'll dye my hair. Would that be fun? Would people be interested in that? Do people care? I don't know. I think it would be kind of interesting. It's an idea. It's something I've been batting around in my brain hole. Let me know what you think. Hello, Dawn. Teach me the ways. Oh, that's right. H, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one. Just watch me, okay? I'm watching. I'm watching them close, closely and intently. Bidoof! Bidoof is adorable. He's the best thing to ever happen to me, and you can't change my mind. I know Bidoof is useless in battle, but look at him. Look at those little teethers. He needs them brushed. He needs someone to take care of him. He's adorable. Oh no, Piplup's attack fell. Okay, his HP is down. Ready for a Pokeball. Send it. Press that X button. Nope, you're gonna do it the long way. Okay, understandable. Your computer, you don't know what's going on. You got $10,000 in your pocket, by the way. Can I have some? You wanna, sh you wanna share? What should our team be? I haven't thought this out. I don't want to... Everybody has their standard Sinnoh team, right? Like, it's it's pretty well known, you know? You got your starter, usually Infernape, although we've already we've already broken out of that box, right? So, your starter, Shinx, usually is an, a, an early edition. Starly is an early edition, and they usually get carried through the game because Luxray and Staraptor are fantastic. Later on, people will pick up Floatzel, maybe Garchomp, and then your HM Slave. Right? Like, that's a pretty standard team. So what, what should we go for? All I know, I want to use Krikatoon. Through the whole LP. I want to use it. I want to make it happen. I want Krikatoon. I've never I've never used Krikatot. I've never used Krikatoon in an LP of any game. They're a cool Pokemon. For the memes. I want to do it. I want to see what happens. I want to give it a shot. That's the only one I'm worried about. Of course, we'll have to record a video at night in order to make that happen. But... That's the only one I'm worried about. So the rest of the team, that's up to you guys. What do you want to see? How long should we wait until we start rounding out the team? I'm down for whatever. The struggle, if, it, if we struggle, we struggle. You know, if we end up with Krikatot and uh, Tur Turtwig for six badges, so be it. You know, I'm down for the struggle. <laughs> see, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP even more than I did. It's important to get your Pokemon... To get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you put them to sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Ace. To get you started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. And our Nuzlocke has not begun because we're not doing that. But I do want to do a Nuzlocke at this game at some point. At some point. Who knows when. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a live stream Nuzlocke of Pokemon Pearl if I ever get the game. Or, or an LP Nuzlocke next year, depending on how schedules work out. We'll see what happens. I know the next games I want to play are X and Y. I want to figure that out. That's, spoiler alert, future, much in the future. Well, at least like two or three months in the future, because I'm going to upload this twice a week, right? So, we got some time to kill before X and Y comes around, but it'll be fun. I think it'll be a fun, a fun time. <laughs> This is really important. I want to know what you guys think. What what should our first Pokemon be? Because obviously we're not Nuzlocking it. We can choose whatever we want. What do you guys want to see? I've only got two team members to figure out so far. The rest of it's up to you guys. You guys four. You got you guys four slots to fill. And at least at least a day and a half to discuss it in the com discuss it in the comment section. Because this video is going up on a Tuesday. And the next episode will be up on Thursday. And that's going to be kind of the upload schedule for this season, for this series. Yeah. 
And I'm going to wrap it up here, <laughs> by the way. Also, because I just looked at the timer and we are officially 21 minutes into this recording. And that's kind of the sweet spot that I want to shoot for with this series. It's about 20 minutes. I feel like that's a good spot to shoot for. I know we didn't get a lot done today, or progression-wise, but we did a lot of reading on a lot of story stuff, which means the next episode, we have a handful of battles to do at the beginning. Uh, a good bit more reading. I think that'll be about all we get done, but it'll be fun. Anyway, that'll be it on Thursday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please make sure you leave that like button down below. It does help out a whole, a whole heck of a lot. Subscribe if you guys are indeed new around here and share this video with your friends. With that, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.